What's up, everyone? How you doing? Let's hop back in, shall we? Oh yeah, you can get going, like, relatively quickly. And actually, for now, I'm gonna actually set almost everyone on auto. Except Myron. But this is all gonna be really, really simple. Raven, sprites... I already regret setting them on auto. Mistakes have been made. I'm gonna do it only because I feel dumb enough to think that this will pay off. Plus, I mean, there's nothing really hard in the tower. I mean, we can handle it just fine as we are right now. But I am gonna, like, I'm not gonna run from anything right now, because we can take on just about everything. Oh my god, Myron. You had one job. You your one job! was save me from thinking! Oh my god. It's a frickin' sprite! Thank you! Wow! Wow, Steve's level one up! Oh yeah, there's also float land. That's just there. And that problem is gone. Bye! <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, there's no weapon restric restriction at all. Ages and, and warriors can use the exact same weapons and armor. The only difference is that uh, mages deal like... It's either like... Oh, Steve's level, Steve levels, and Steve's level went up. Yeah, we're not installing parts. I ain't putting that stuff in me, man. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm trying to remember. There's like... There, yeah, there's a chest here. I don't think there's much here. Damn it. I mean, that's 200 gold. I'll sell. You just feel silly because you just wasted money. Can't believe I got up two floors without fighting and finding anything. That's that's unbelievable. All right, someone was best to meet me on the other screen. Yeah, see, things like that. That's where auto really comes in handy. Cut. Just because the AI acts in the moment, whereas you can only act before everything happens. Although I do feel silly for complimenting the AI earlier when it's just like, Oh, I think I'll defend. I'll cast Shell. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Um... I'm trying to remember where it is. Is it select? There it is, start. You can you can also parry, which means basically defend yourself against an attack, or you can guard someone else. 
So say like I'm really worried that uh, that Steve down here at 24 health is gonna take a hit. I can guard and take any hits that she would. And of course you can also do this, see everyone's stats. See as how, you know, your UI is a little restricted. But best offense best defense is a good offense here. I mean, because this is stuff that Myron and the and the and the and the uh, and Steve can take out no problem. Plus, he did it for me. See, Steve went and took Steve's attack. I mean, the a I mean, shockingly enough, the AI isn't perfect, but it's pretty dang good for for you know for a Game Boy RPG. The only thing is that the AI does favor do doing, uh, ran doing randomness, so the only reason I didn't put Myron on, uh, on auto is that you could end up having My Myron, like, cast Ice 1, thinking he's being helpful when Myron sucks at magic. Oh yeah, those talents, they only put, come into play if you- FUCK! I'm disappointed. Okay, so, we have a problem now. She's out of MP, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Gonna move it over over to Steve. Bam. So yeah, unlike other other games with Matt that that have learned magic like that, you can just have someone forget magic and have someone else use it. It's actually really cool that way. And top floor, we found our float. Let's get out of here. Oh, come on. So close. So close to freedom! <laughs> Mighty Blow with a stick! By the way, Mighty Blows are critical hits. In case somehow you weren't able to figure that out. Steve is waiting for the attack, but who is Steve? You know, maybe I should have picked different names. Oh, come on. Why? I remember worm enemies. Uh-oh. We have no heal. This could be a problem. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Myron has a heal, which is good. Or maybe I put Myron on auto. So he can... So he can heal if needs. If need be. Although he's always gonna go first anyway. I wish we had better magic already. I wish we had the two spells, because right now, in case it wasn't obvious, uh, the magic we have is only single target. It isn't until later on that you unlock the, the like, fire twos, the ice twos, the lightning twos, 
and those can hit and those can hit groups of enemies. And then of course, way later on, like almost at the two-thirds mark of the game, really, you can get matches that hits the entire screen. But right now you're wah wah. Ooh, monster worm meat! No! That's icky. Why did I tell myself no running? Why did I do that? That didn't seem like the smartest thing in the world. Oh man, oh man. This game, though. Set of headphones plugged into that Game Boy. That massive, big ass, big ass thing. No, well, funny enough, we got a, I got a Game Boy Pocket before I even got the original Game Boy. See, that's what I was afraid of. Well, I mean, at least it kills him. It's when Myron does like the ice and fire when you need the. The battle axe. Because his battle cause his regular attack does more than his magic. In fact, right now, magic is the only thing magic's really good for is healing. So, float, and already, you've got the ability to fly. That, at first, caught me way off guard. Especially since, considering at the time, the RPGs I played was, that gave you the ability to fly, was Dragon Warrior 3, Dragon Warrior 4, which I hadn't beaten yet, and Final Fantasy, which, by the time I got this, I my file just got the airship after the pain and suffering of the ice caverns and then in this game just to casually walk out there and get float like this it threw me for a loop it was crazy just already bam you can fly although i think the in here is based on how much damage you've taken yeah it is like, I'm pretty sure in stay na is now zero. Yeah, let's stay the night. Free in! In's free as long as you ain't hurt! Now, throughout this, I normally don't move on to an area until I get the... until I'm up to gear. Right now, that's almost irrelevant, to be perfectly honest. But for right now, we're gonna... For right now, we're gonna break! We're gonna move on to Ellen, find out what the radar is, and then do our first time jump. Already, it's crazy, man. Do that? I should save. 